how are you or your organisation addressing the issue of climate change? I think I think the government, Parliament, uh, the Prime Minister, I, I think we've taken it really seriously. I think in recent years, people have become even more aware of how important it is that we do our bit to tackle climate change. Um, the Prime Minister's announced a £12 billion 10 point plan uh, to try to basically have a, a green industrial revolution, change the way that we think about things. Um, and the plan is to create not just because I think sometimes with green projects, it's about balancing convenience, isn't it? People find doing cleaner things, greener things challenging, but actually there's lots of benefits to be had. And in, in this plan, in this 10 point plan, it's actually about creating more jobs, 250,000 more green jobs in green energy. Um, there's, you know, the, the Committee on Climate Change has put its recommendations forwards. The UK has taken them on in full uh, and reducing greenhouse gas emissions by almost 78% by 2035. Uh, that's back down to where we were in 1990, but there's still a hell of a lot more to do. Um, I think we've got a really ambitious plan to cut carbon emissions, uh, as well as creating those new jobs. Um, it's all about technology and making the most of it as well. Um, and in Teesside, of course, in Teesside, we are leading the way uh, in the challenge. Huge project on Teesside to be the largest hydrogen hub in the UK producing huge amounts of blue hydrogen uh, and we'll be creating 20% of the UK's hydrogen by 2030. Well, that's the plan. Um, so I think we're doing great things on Teesside. We're leading the way. Um, but everything is, you know, from electric cars, uh, all all the initiatives all coming together and it's every, it's not about one big thing to fix the lot, is it? It's about all the small things that we do day by day. Uh, the big plan. That's great. Thank you. That's so the second question is, how locally can we tackle the issue of climate change? I think, I think, do you know what? I, I think the climate change and the environment and everything put together uh, is, is a sort of joint enterprise. I think it's about being cleaner and greener. Um, but in our part of the world, we've got people going out litter picking. Uh, we've got the Thornaby Community Litter Pick. They're out there every weekend picking up litter. But it's an educational thing, isn't it? It's talking about the plastic we use, how we prevent us, ourselves using uh, as much plastic so I think it's a we've got to educate ourselves about how we can be clean and greener um, and I think schools locally doing lots of big projects on that I think we've got to keep doing it um, talking about you know what we're consuming the plastic we're using etc um, and actually it's about recycling in Stockton we're not that good at recycling um, as an authority as our local council area we're actually pretty bad uh, our numbers aren't as good as other areas of the country um, some people will argue that's because we've got these all these different bags and people are a bit confused about what to do about it all. So I think the council probably needs to do its bit to try and make it easier. But we also need to try a bit harder to recycle everything we use uh, and encourage young people to, to grow up clean, green, cleaner and greener as well. So let's recycle, uh, reuse um, and reduce our waste. Thank you very much. What is the one thing that we can do to improve the planet for the next generation for you guys? Okay, um, so there are obviously many different things, but to choose one, I think we need to just invest and implement renewable and alternative energy and to lower our current dependency on fossil fuels. But in order to make any sizable difference, we need to act now and our policies must reflect the science. So, um, yeah, our current consumption isn't sustainable by any means, and we need to ensure future generations don't suffer from our poor choices with the consequences of climate change, like large scale habitat loss, food shortages and sea level rise. So, yeah, there's a lot to be done, but um, yeah, we should hopefully be able to get, get to it. <laughs> 